Hello everyone, Jawtooth here again. I've returned to the Bypass Railroad Crossing. It's 92 degrees, nice and hot day up here in Ohio. This is the railroad crossing that has this bypass right behind me. So if a train comes and you don't want to wait for the train, you can drive underneath of it by taking the road straight here. It goes underneath the tracks. Guess what, son? We do have a train coming. So go ahead and start the video and let's see what happens. See if anybody takes this bypass today. This will be really interesting. Here comes the bypass at the railroad crossing and this thing stays busy when those trains go through. People don't like waiting for the trains. They go both ways on this little lane through here. Both directions. It's kind of interesting. Pretty narrow. And then it comes out right over here. Has anybody seen one of these before? Leave a comment below. This is really cool. Okay, here's what the crossing looks like coming from the other side. And the bypass is on your left. So you would have took that bypass before you got to the tracks here. And right over there is the bypass. The problem is when you get stuck there coming through and then the train goes by and you get stuck trying to make a, a left coming out of there. That's difficult to do if you don't time it right. They're already taking the bypass. Look at this. That was quick. Quick work of the bypass.
There you go. That's how the bypass thing works. Working pretty good. A lot of traffic here, but we gotta show it somehow. That was pretty cool. Thanks for watching everyone. But wait, there's more. Corso is this. Uh, this is another one of my favorite railroad crossings right here. So I moved just a short distance, about a mile and a half or so from the railroad crossing bypass. And I've got the CSX track behind me. And in front of me, you've got the Norfolk Southern line right there. We got a train coming on both lines right now. The Norfolk Southern's got a short local coming this way. And the CSX has a train coming the opposite direction right over here. Oh, they're already here. Holy cow. Scanner pays off again, son. You gotta have them. Well, there you go. That was a good one. I was kind of hoping to have two of them pass at the same time, but that's pretty rare for that to happen. The other train will be by here in just a minute. I'm waiting for them. It's just a local. It's a H04. It just came off the Franklin Industrial Spur. So they'll be coming across this crossing right here at any time. I heard them getting permission from the dispatcher, so they should be here. And they're calling them again. I think that's just a malfunction right there. There's nothing else coming on this track. That'll probably go back up. Yep. 
I've seen that happen before. Anyways, the other train will be here in a minute, hopefully. Okay, here comes the train. The Norfolk Southern Local, H04. Have one locomotive, maybe about 10 or so cars, I don't know, somewhere in that area. All right, there she goes. Wow, that's the longest I've ever seen that local before. I've seen it only have one or two cars. I've seen it had 10. That's the longest I've ever seen it yet. How many was that? Count them, let me know below. Anyways, thanks for watching. We still got Norfolk, we got Chessie, and the slideshow. If you can, watch another video. Every view really helps my channel, helps keep me on the road, pays for the gas, son. All right, we'll see you later. Y'all choose out. Ah, but wait, there's more. Of course, always is. Check this out, within view of the Duff's Railroad, you've got this home right here. That is cool. That's awesome. <laughs> Raining out today and here's the little kitty cat sitting out here on the chair. There's Chessie. Hi kitty. Thunder doesn't bother her. She's not afraid of it. Hi, kitty. Hi there. Hi, kitty. Hi. That gets her attention. What a cute cat. She's got it made here. Jesse must have gone down there somewhere. Yep. There's Jesse. You're hard to film, dude. It's a rainy day.